called you again. Who got the bitch in there? said it was going to be 54 degrees or 45 degrees or whatever they said it was going to be degrees don't mean that it's not weather that's going to get you sick you can catch pneumonia i didn't say that but why the hell you got ruined in here jail mirror beat Episode eight of a disturbingly random podcast. Um, I am Romay, and that is Miss Cookie Graham. Um, I'll drink to that. I'm gonna drink to that goddamn hat you got on because you're making me hot. <clears throat> Hats off, it's making me hot. So, let's talk about this. We got a lot going on tonight. We got a lot going on in the background tonight, but we're going to make this happen. I see. A couple of things. A couple of things. Do not look at my notes. Do not pay attention to my notes. Have your own. Have your own. I got mine mentally. All right. I don't need this. I don't need nothing paper. <clears throat> All right. Um, how was your week? Let's, just, let's get to that. How was your week last week? From Monday up until Saturday. I forgot what happened, but anyway. Are you serious? Yeah. You don't know what happened throughout your week? Hmm. Alright, my week was, uh... Obviously, it wasn't exciting if I forgot. My week was grand. My week was grand. What the hell that supposed to mean? That means it was great. It was good. It was big. It was tremendous, as Donald Trump would say. Uh, it was tremendous. We're not, we don't quote stuff. Sarah Sanders, say it. Pause. Say it. We don't quote... We don't quote nothing he said. You need your mic? You want it? My mic sound nice. Check one. My mic sound nice. I'm going to turn it off for you. Because you don't know how to turn it off. <laughs> You know this, um... Hello, 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 hello. got one? Uh, no. Um, Joe Budden's son, Lexington, a little newborn. He got he one just like that. I bet he not a usual. I bet he not a used kid. Better than you do. How about that? Hey, so, um, we here. Shh. Disturbingly Random Podcast. That was motherfucking shade. Shade all day. <laughs> that was shade you just threw at me. <laughs> you doing the damn thing, too, with them shades on. And anything. So, what you got? Hold up, hold up. Take the shades off again. Take the shades off. You got eyelashes? Them things is bad. Hey, hold on. Let me tell you something about eyelashes. Just so you know. Don't start when the shit. Kid, Don't start the shit. When I was a kid, when I was a kid, and I was like eight years old, it was a little girl. I don't remember her name. How the hell do you remember back when you was eight? I remember everything. I remember when I was three. Get the hell out of here. I do You don't? Hell no. I don't even know where I was living at. You serious? Yeah. I remember when I was three. Well, I, was I don't even years know old. if I was in New York or New Jersey. I was eight years old. I was living in New York. I was living in Long Island, yeah, Freeport, Long Island, where I grew up at. And um, a uh, a little girl. She used to like. She had eyelashes. She had long eyelashes. So she put an eyelash on my cheek, and she used to bat her eyelashes. She said, "I'm giving you a butterfly." And I just like this word, and I thought like that was like the precursor to saying like, "Yo, I'm gonna be able to smash when I get old." So I was looking forward to that. Next topic. You didn't ask me if I smashed when I got over. I don't give a damn, because that shit ain't even make sense. So how was the butterfly flip over? How was she butterfly? How was she that butterfly? Was flirting. That was flirting. She put the eyelash on me. I like that. Anyway, that makes Asshole. Next. Anyway. Alright, whatever. Alright, we got some stuff You know your mic not on, right? My mic is on. No, it's not. Blue, 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 blue. Nathan, let me show you something. Let me show you something. My mic is on. Fuck you. <laughs> I, Turn my echo off. Yeah, exactly. All right, so listen. Got some stuff to talk about. I'm going to go off my sheet that I got here. I got some notes. Go. I got notes. I go. got notes. Here we go. Here we go. We got some stuff. 
Hey, um, talking about Bow Wow? No, first, 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 I gotta talk about that too, because that's new. But first off, let's talk, hey, rest in peace to James Ingram. Oh, yeah. Rest in peace to James Ingram. Yeah, rest in peace. And they think y'all a secret guard. We always gotta have a celebrity either die at the beginning of the year or the end of the year. You notice that? I didn't notice that. Pay attention, it does. That's crazy. But yeah, man, James Ingram. Man. Every, every, in the beginning of the year, is always a celebrity die, and always at the end of the year. I never noticed that. God, just take our angels away from us. Yeah. And, and you know what the bad thing is that about people, and I don't like to, you know, hold, you know, to sit on this topic too long, but we don't have nobody to fill the gaps. When we lose a celebrity, we don't have anybody to take the place of them. Because people don't want to step up to the plate. Because we got some weirdos right now in anything who happen to have talent. Nobody in anything knows how to, like, not be... How do you mean weirdos? Weirdos, what I mean by weirdos is like nobody knows how to like maintain their composure and just have talent. Like the talent back in, like James Ingram, did you ever hear anything crazy about James Ingram? Mm -hmm. No. Exactly. But however, did you hear something crazy about Jaheen? Yes, right. that perm. Oh wow. Alright, Ja, I didn't say that. I like you, Ja. I like you, Ja. But it's just stuff that you always hear about the celebrities of today. That's what I'm saying, you know what I mean? Like, nobody really has, like, a squeaky clean... And I don't know what it is. Maybe it's social media allows you to see everything that's going on in everybody's life. Because that's, that, that's how it is now. Why don't you lose your mic? Because you took echo off. So you don't need the echo for everything that you say. Can you hear me? I hear you. Uh, okay. There's so much noise. Everybody... Uh, don't worry. This game. Game. People partying with the game. You need know. We're going to keep it popping. Because the Rams going to The Rams. The Rams going to win. Wait, I thought you was blaming my mic out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. You always gonna do something, don't do shit. You ain't blame my mic out, you ain't do, you ain't fund me. Like, I mean, you know what? I think I need a new host because I'm tired of you and your bullshit right now. This is, this is bullshit. This is real bullshit. Bullshit, bullshit. Where's your shirt? We said we was gonna wear our shirts. You ain't got your shirt on. You always doing bullshit. You know what? Did you, did, did you just rant on me? Did you just go off? Yeah. You went off? All right. <laughs> Let's <laughs> bullshit. Well, well, got some other topics. Um, Next. Hey, um, Takashi 69 and anything, he's, um, they said that he's, uh, testifying against his, uh, co-defendants, quote-unquote co-defendants, because that, because that doesn't mean that he's defending himself too. Allegedly? Allegedly. They're saying that he is. I still allegedly, um, they are, um, saying that he's, uh, testifying. I ain't even know nothing about that, because I ain't interested in that. Okay, we'll move right past it then. Next. Oh, well. Um, <laughs> Super Bowl. Uh, just so you know, about the Super Bowl, that's on tonight. That's on Sunday, which is tonight, that we're taping this. Um, you see last night? I thought the pips was on the Don't say that again. Um, let's, <laughs> let's do this. Let's do this. Did you know? Did you... <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that um, in Atlanta, uh, all of the, I'm pissed listen, off listen, right listen, now. No, I'm no, pissed no, no, off no, no, about no. Atlanta right now. No, we don't care about the BMF um, movie streaming. Oh, excuse epic. you, I do. All right, but you didn't make it. And they're going to do another one. Pause. They're going to do another one. No, pause. Don't say I didn't make it, okay? Go ahead. I'm listening. I didn't get to try out for it yet. So don't say I didn't make no, it. No, you didn't make it there. I oh, mean. no, because you know why? Me and you need to have a real conversation. I love you to death. I love the hell out you, 50. But why would you do that when you know it? My money ain't long like that to be coming down there for the Super Bowl You're weekend. You're trying to get down there so you get the movies so your money can get one. I know, but I can't afford it right now because you know the tickets were sky high. Talk. My money, I couldn't even go to the strip club if I wanted to. What I was going to do? I didn't even have a dollar. Talk, talk then. I didn't even have a dollar to get the strippers. Oh, and I like the strippers. Wait, wait, say that. I like the strippers. I didn't even have a dollar to give them. Like Let alone try to get my flight. I did have a place to stay down there, but I had a. And then they shut the shit down. Because it was a lot of people. Come to. Come to New York. Come to New York. Matter of fact, 50, you ain't even got to come to New York. I'm about to do a new a new um thing and I'm going to send it to you and I'm going to have my part. It's just that simple. I promise you. Yeah. Good, good. Drop that. Drop that. That quick off of there. Um. So. <laughs> You told him. You told 50. You told off two people today. Me, me, and 50. You know, y'all got a lot in common. Well, you told off me, but you ain't telling 50. You told 50 what you need to do. No, but y'all got a lot in common. But what I was saying about the Super Bowl is this. And what do we got in common, me and 50? I don't give a fuck about nothing, nobody, or what you say, or how you say it, and when you say it, and where you say it. Nobody believes you. You need more people. 
Nobody believes yeah. that. I don't need more people. I can, there's a lot of people that if they know you, they know. Hey, um, no, I didn't know. Um, no, 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 that was no, 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 the food in the strip club was dope. Which the one? wings are good. In Jersey? In Jersey. Jersey girls shut down, so which one you go to? Sensations in Boundbrook used to be dope. Uh, food, the, um, the food was there, it was, it was good. So um, wait, where do you eat your food? <laughs> eat your food right at the counter. Why they dancing? At the no, you might get a, you no. Might get, so what if you get a pizza? No, 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 no. What? So what? Mm, hell to the no. That might make it taste better. No, you use a lot. It all depends on what you like to eat. If a dude like to eat fish, then he can eat chicken. <laughs> you know I'm what? I'm gonna, leave, I'm gonna leave that one alone. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just sensational. It closed up now. Um, so Breathless is still popping in Jersey. Jersey Girls is still popping. How Jersey Girls still popping? They closed down. I mean, what is it, Angels now? Angels. That's Angels. what Elizabeth, right? Yeah, that's what used to be Jersey Girls. No, Jersey Girls used to be in, um, off there, off the, by the highway. The highway. Off the, yeah. So where's Angels at? Angels on Elizabeth Avenue. Okay, see, I don't go to strip clubs no more. So I wouldn't know. I um, just know some I guess the main popular ones is in New York. Oh, it's one... What is it called? It's one in Newark. I'm not years in Newark. Ain't nobody going to a strip club in Newark. Nobody's going there. Nobody's going to Newark to a strip club. I beg your pardon. Girls probably got bullet holes and bullet wounds and everything and all types of stuff in their bodies and everything. And then ain't nobody going there to get shot up at no strip club. Just because it's in Newark don't mean you're going to get shot up. It does mean that. No, it does it not. It does mean that. No, it hey, does Newark, not. In Newark, are you going to get shot up if you go to a strip no. club? No. I'm going to ask people from Newark. No. Are you getting shot up if you go No. To they, they they will say yes. They will say no. A comment in the section below. Comment please and anything. Let us know. Oh, I'm an asshole too. So. Yeah. Comment. Comment. Hey, sure. so <laughs> so let me get, let me get to like you know, being a. Hey, you gonna watch Boomerang when it come out? What's that? Sidewalk. Boomerang. Boomerang. The movie. Remember Boomerang with Eddie Murphy and Halle Berry and everybody? Yeah. They're doing a um, series. It's gonna come on BET. Give me a series. Exactly. That's how I feel. They're gonna do a series. Oh, good. Did you know? Did you know that they did a series for um um, she's gotta have it. What the hell is that? Remember, she's gotta have it. The movie with Spike Lee, the Spike Lee movie. Ask me, ask me when I'm Where were you that. at? Where were you at in anything in like the nineties? Where were you? I was. I was around. Were you watching TV? Yeah. Were you allowed to watch TV? Never. I'm just saying. Like, all right. Well, they doing a movie. They doing a the series. First person Bel Air, all right. Well, if I said they was going to do a movie, The Fresh Prince of Bel Air, then you probably be like, oh my God, I'm going to watch that. I'm going to go to movies and see it. So I'm talking about they're doing Boomerang, Eddie Murphy, I Halle Berry. Boomerang. They're doing a series to it. On I, I don't understand how that's going to work. I don't know how it's going to work either, but they're going to do it. I how think it's going to be do whack. A series, it's though. going to be terrible. That's what I'm thinking. It's going to be on BET. All right. That's just like doing a series of um, Bad Boys, then. Exactly. That's my point. They could do it. How do you, bad but how do you. But what's that one with um Damon Wayne's um what's That's this? um um Lethal Weapon. I like that. Is it good series? It's series good. Is good? Can we not see that shit? That's no, a good watch it. I never seen it. It's good as hell. The series it's is good. It's good as hell. It's as good as the movie. It's good as hell. It's better. Okay. It's good. Damon so Wayne's doing his damn thing, yeah. So then boomerang might work. I don't know. The boomerang that. might work. I don't know. I don't know. Um Alright, I, 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 I wanna ask you a serious question. This is serious. This is serious. Everything is serious when it comes to you. I mean, not everything. I, I mean, I laugh about it, you know, a couple of things or whatever, you know. Um, but I'm gonna ask you something serious, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you some. I'm gonna say something that's funny, and then I'm gonna ask you something that's serious. Right behind. No, do the serious thing. No, 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 no. What's funny to me is that the surviving R. Kelly. Um, women, because I have to, I have to, I have to. Listen close. The Survivor R. Kelly members, the girls and anything who were, um, who were like, you know what I'm saying, wrongfully done in anything in the R. Kelly suit, they decided to, um, have a party of sorts and they had a flyer. Listen, listen. They had a, they had a flyer and they, and they said that, um, they were, it was caught, it was going to be $20 or $15 and anything in advance for tickets. And it's like 20 at the door, and they were, um, it was going to be like 30 or 40 dollars for VIP tickets. And the VIP tickets consisted of, if I'm remembering all this correctly, um, it consisted of like a meet and greet, 
um, free food. Uh, the drinks. women that he did this to? Yeah, yeah. Free food, drinks, and you can take pictures and ask questions to the uh, Sarah and R. Kelly members. How you feel? You serious? That? No, how you feel? About that? I no, no, you. I need to know. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. Where can I Google this and find it? It was there, and they just took the poster down. It was a poster. Up, it was a flyer up. Somebody's gonna have a flyer up somewhere else. So, how do you feel about that? There's no way in hell they don't have no meet and greet and all this other shit when they saying that this happened to them. How can you celebrate something like this? How can you have a party about something like this? My point exactly. I don't want to believe that shit happened. I don't want to believe you saying this is a meet and greet and you can get to sit down and ask questions and party with them. Because what the fuck is you partying about? My if you exactly. if you you saying you were traumatized by the way this man did you, I don't want to believe that. I, don't, I know you lying. I, I don't want to believe that's the truth. I'll drink. I'll drink through it. So, um, <laughs> moving over, I'm glad you. I'm glad you said. But I'm not allowed to say. It. I'm a dude. I can't say stuff like that because I'm a guy. Because I don't want to believe that was true. All right. See, if I said it, then they would be like, you know, what, you know, saying you, you, you're heartless and you're callous and you're cold and you don't care. Yeah, I know that ain't true. So I ain't but, worrying about that. All right. So, um, so Tisha Campbell, you remember, you used to watch Martin. You just mm -hmm. spoke about bad boys. You just you used to watch Martin. Um. Okay. Remember Tisha Campbell? Gina. Yeah, Gina. Gina's now that her uh her divorce has been solidified with, from Dwayne Martin. Um, she said that uh he was abusing her. her now, husband? now, yeah, her, her husband was abusing her. Wow, I didn't know that. But why is she saying that? She trying to me too the shit out of him. What the hell did you just say? She trying to me too him. What the fuck is a me too? Me too, like the hashtag me too, like. I've been abused too. You think that's what she's trying to do? Obviously. Why? You tell me why. Maybe she felt as though she's tired of holding it in and trying to act like everything. She's trying a pretty picture and she wanted to just let everybody know this is what really was going on with me. And I'm, I'm, mm. I want to just be free. Mm. You know, goddamn me too. And that's why she's saying it now? Yeah. I mean, that could be it. I mean, you tell me. I'm just I'm, listen. Okay, so that's point. just like if I don't speak on something at the time. At the time, maybe because you can't speak on it, or you don't you? want to speak on it. Maybe because you don't want to, and you don't feel comfortable at that time. Mm -hmm. And then when you finally feel free, and you're like, you don't give a damn. You're gonna talk about it. What makes you not give a damn? Because you just you fed up. You fed up. You yeah, it's it's over. You don't care. It is what it is. Life so, happens. So, but at, at some point, you try to protect the other person. So, how long, so what's the statute of limitations? I don't know. That? No, no, I'm no, not no, a, no. I'm not a lawyer. No, no, no. Later for the lawyer, the law part. But I'm just saying, for the person who you're speaking with, at what point should they feel at ease that, you know what, it's, it, the past is the past? Or should they always feel like, yo, you know what? Somebody's holding my karma in their hands. Bad, bad, bad. So, so somebody should always feel like you know. So in this case, somebody, okay, but do, is the it, is they kids, like, do they have kids together? I don't, I'm not sure about that. Because maybe saying, they trying to you know protect the kids. Well, you're not protecting the age. kids if you put it out there in public. That maybe they're older them. now. I'm just saying. Then you're not when they're, young, then when they're not, younger, you want to protect them. At that point, you're not protecting the kids. If they're older, even you. if they're older, yeah, at yeah. that point, they you know what I'm saying you're damaging the kids How? because now they let's say you got like a daughter. Or son, he's hating his father, or she's hating her father now because they're speaking about all of the damage that the father did to the mother. And they, when she's lived with it so long, and they think, because she, she was protecting the child, she didn't want, she so didn't she want, now, now, now that the kid is grown, she's not protecting them. No, she ain't protecting them. Damn, them kids. Really, damn really, them kids. No, now, right? it was damn them. It's not damn them kids, it's when they're young, you don't want to affect them because then they act out in school, mm -hmm. and then you, then they, then they. No, you want to protect them. So now they won't act out in school. They'll just lay on somebody's couch and tell them about that. They they gonna, they, how, I, hopefully, and how? They hopefully they're mature enough to understand the situation that your mother's ready to talk about this. I was protecting you growing up. I didn't want you to look at your father differently. Mm -hmm. But now that you're older, you're, un you're able to understand. Let me tarnish your, your image of your you father. Next. Let me do that. <laughs> I'm just saying. That's just how things go. Keep making my eyelash come off. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll let you just go, though. Hi. You're crazy. Um, what's good with Jesse Smollett? 
what's his name? Uh, what's the old black guy name in, in New York? Al Sharpton. Al Sharpton spoke out about it. Everybody spoke out about this. And they're trying to get down to the bottom of it, and they, they figure out what's going on. And you hit me again. Hit, hit, hit me. Hit me. See? That's it. And then you can catch it. So, I put out the apple juice. It's you apple know, juice. I'm tired of telling you something and you want to just announce it out loud. I'm just going. Okay. I don't need you to announce shit. Just listen. All right, true. Damn. All right. You can't keep a secret if they paid you to. True. Next. True. Hey, if you could have wine delivered to you through an Amazon robot, would you would you accept it? Hell yeah. And it pulled up to the front of your house? Would you what? I'll be like, hey. The Amazon robots are coming. Hey. You got one? They've been pulling up. They've been pulling up to they people. They pulled up to your house? Not yet, but they're going to. They're going to pull up to the house and anything with the um. You going to record when they come to your house? Hell yeah. Let me see. Yeah. The Amazon robots have been pulling up. You think they'll come to the hood? They don't come to the <laughs> Nah. They're not coming to the hood. I don't live in the hood, but I'm imagine, saying. Imagine if they came to the hood. What would dudes do? Oh shit! That motherfucking robot came to my house and delivered my shit. <laughs> yo, it's already bad enough that people fly drones and they, they yo, the pole hit, 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 hit. Don't even talk about a motherfucking drone. <laughs> Cause we get on that topic for you then. How about that? Yeah, I love drones. I love yeah, drones. and what play. happened with yours? Well, and it got stuck in the tree. Yeah. Hey, well, what did you do? <laughs> I, fought, I fought with it for days. <laughs> days. I got my drone back, though. So, since you uh, want to talk about drones, no, 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 no. Since he want to talk about drones, right? Is, watch, when I, watch when I edit this. Watch when I cut this out. So now he want to edit it. He want to talk about anything else, everybody else, but he don't want to talk about this. He better not fucking edit this. Listen. No. His drone so got stuck about in the this. tree, right? Hmm. I told about. him to call the fire department. What did you say? I said, nah, I'm not I'm about calling the fire department. Why? Because when they come, then they're going to laugh at me. I'm not going to let the fire department laugh at me about no drone in the tree. But that's what they do for the help, so. Nah, we're not you, doing that. You're going to be embarrassed? Yes, yes. Oh. But guess who got it out the tree? How many days? Three days. Yeah, but why you ain't with it? The fire department would have got it out the same day. No, they wouldn't. That's that got them ego. Yeah. That's the ego. <laughs> I'm never going to let the fire department get my drone out the tree. Never. I'll just come back and get that thing out of the tree later. <laughs> <laughs> you were serious about that shit, too. I was very serious about that. He was like, I'm going to get a rope, and I'm going to just pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it. That's what I did. That's what I did. I got my man AG with me. AG, I'm yo. Take a drink on that. Right yeah. now. Yeah. On the AG part? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, um, last thing I want to talk about before we get up out of here. Um, Bow Wow. Oh yeah, Bow Wow. All right. Well, yeah. Let's talk about Bow Wow first, and then I'm gonna get to the last name. Um, Bow Wow. I got fucked up. Bow Wow. Bow Wow. Let me tell Yo, you something. She rocked Bow Wow. I love Erica Miller. I'm so happy she moved what? on to her and happy. Oh, okay. Erica. I'm so happy, Erica. I love you. I'm so happy for you. Erica. Thank Erica. God. Do you think Erica likes Safari? Yeah. You think she really likes Safari? I really think she did. Why? Wow, because Safari showed you. Why? Wow, because Safari showed everybody his joint and anything. So you should think Erica liked him because of that? Nah. That's why you like him. Nah, I don't like him like that. Alright. So I like why, him because why? you know why? He's a, believe it or not, he's a kind of humble dude. Okay. He should be. He don't have much talent. Tell me his talent. Didn't he used to write for people? I don't who? Wanna... For who? Don't do that. For Nikki? For Nicki Minaj? He ain't there now. Nicki got hits. Okay. So who was writing for who writing by now? I don't know. Alright, so let's move on. So, um... See, that's why I said you like fucking 50 Cent. I'm just saying. I'm just trying to make sense of things. So, Erica Mena and, and Safari are together now. You want to say, you want to celebrate Erica Mena because she's not with Bow Wow now. She moved on. And Bow Wow just got beat, beat up by his girl. I don't know who the is girl is. Is that his girlfriend? I don't know. But she's on the show with him. On Growing Up Hip Hop. I don't watch that show. They said they fight a lot on that show. I don't watch that show. Me either. I watch Let me Hero. Let tell you something. Take... Romeo and I to carry himself. He's very smart. 
his family, he, he wants, he, he, I like him. I, I, Master like P, him. he did an excellent, excellent job with that one right there. Yeah, he did a good job with that Yeah, kid. I like, gave him props for I, that. I like watching his growth. Just like Puffy, he did a good job with his kids. Puff did a good job with his kids. Yep, yep, all and, of them. And I pray for him because he got to raise two girls right now. Two girls, Nathan. Wait, how many kids Puff got? Five or six? Two, four, wait. Pause. Because. He got King Combs, he got Prince. He got the twins. He got the twins. He got the other little girl that's the same little... age as them. And then, you know, he called, called um, the and other one. And then he got Quincy. Quincy. So he got six. six. Yes. Yep. Mm-hmm. Quincy. And Quincy's, Quincy's good. Quincy's hey, doing man, his thing out here. There's a show, there's a movie called Brotherly Love. Listen. Listen. That might be the best movie I've ever seen. Quincy in that one? Brotherly Love with Quincy Jones. I'm mean, Quincy Jones. Quincy, um, Quincy Combs. Or whatever he want to call his last name, but Quincy, this puppy, and I'll be sure son, who's just like I'll be sure. And they think, but that's a good movie. You gotta watch that movie. Um, it's on Netflix. It's on everything else, whatever. It's, it actually is on YouTube too. And they think the whole the whole movie. You gotta watch that. Dope movie. Dope movie. And they think, um, the the girl, what's the twin? T N Tamari, uh, T N Tammy, Tamara, Tamara, T N, um, Ari, um, what's her husband? Corey. Yeah. He's in that movie. Great actor. You gotta watch that movie. Dope. Dope. Beloved. It's called Brotherly Love. And is it an old movie? Or it's, new one? it's about a year, two, two years old. About, yeah, about three years old. About three years old. Okay. Dope movie. Probably the best movie you'll ever watch. The best movie. It's dope. So you say, okay. Dope. Um, last thing before we get the hell up out of here. And Nathan, you wanna go watch this game? I know. Uh, you wanna go watch it? Uh, you wanna go to Rams, Rams, all that shit. Um, the fuck? I'm not gonna eat the food. Mm. Mm. <laughs> the game, the game, the game. And shout out to the game because I used to work over at Zara Entertainment, Henchman Records, and anything. Um. So you, you've been in the industry. You've been in the industry, huh? Yeah, you already know that. But um, I used to work over there, and anything. We was managed. I might know. I might know, but And I used to, I used to met too much, way too much. So you, so in case you say again. And. We worked with uh, the games account and the rapper. Yeah, the rapper, the game. Oh, okay. And I thought you were talking about the show. No, and I wasn't big on him when he first came out. Um, he can rap, but I just didn't like the fact that he had just came into the industry. He used to, he used to make it clear that he only rapped for like two years at the time, and he just came in and he had such great success. And I used to be bothered by that, but now because I was like, yo. A lot of people have been rapping for years, and you got the success that they've been looking for. So if that bothered me. But now, moving forward, 15 years later, you know what I'm saying? Um, pinch me, as I said, you know what I'm saying? Damn, oh, you trying to pull your muscles up. Let me find that. I'll pinch your damn leg. Chubby, that's, that's, that, yeah, that's tight too. That's tight too. You trying to but make no. your, I could do that. <laughs> I got nails on right now. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, so anyway, 15 years later, moving forward, um, after all of the, you know, the, the BS that happened between him and 50 or whatever, um, game, he got a, he got a song where he's talking, you know, shit about Kanye West and Kim Kardashian and so on and so forth. Recently? Recently. And he said about how he choked Kim Kardashian out while she was swallowing his kids. And so on. <laughs> yeah. Have you a drink. Have you a drink. But, my thing is, um, are you, is that, in, in hip-hop, in hip-hop, is that wrong that he said that about Kim K? Everybody know what Kim was doing. Everybody seen Kim on tape. Everybody know what, what Kanye married. Is that wrong that Game said that? What do you mean what Kanye married? He married a girl who was on tape, who had sex on tape and... Ain't, ain't, everybody's not perfect. True. But uh, everybody have a past. But do you have a tape of everything you did that wasn't perfect? No. Definitely. All right. So all right. So she does. So now let's talk about what she. Like, I don't want to talk about what she did because she got the money. I ain't got no goddamn money. I'm trying to get the money. So let's as long talk as you about got me. The, as long as you got the money, you could do anything you want to do. That's what you're saying. That's how she got to where she had. All right. So I'm now like, we got to do who got money. I like her. You can like her. You can like her. Now her husband. But she's not somebody. She's not somebody to follow behind. She's not somebody who you should pattern your life behind. I didn't say that, but I'm just saying, like, everybody have a past. It is what it is. 
Why everybody got to keep talking about everybody else? Worry about yourself. That's what's wrong with the world today. Stop focusing on everybody else and worry about yourself. That's why people can't get to the next level. Because if I worry about what you do, how am I going to get to where I want to get to? I'm trying to make it out here in the world. You think I got time to be worrying about what she did or what she said or what she wore? No. I'm worried about me. How can get to the next level to make it up and bring somebody up under me? So, That's We need love in this world. <laughs> what the fuck are you laughing for? Because you said love. We do. Hey, Brotherly nobody, love. Ain't nobody. That's a movie. Um, but listen. say that too. Hey, listen. <laughs> All I'm saying is, so you're saying game was wrong and they were coming back for coming. Hit me, hit me. Because I said anything. Hit me. So you're saying game was wrong for coming back Kanye? And saying that stuff about what about him and it's him. the past. Like, why you keep talking about the past? Well, maybe that's his story. That's his truth. Well, that's what him and Kim K did, and he wouldn't talk about it. Maybe he need therapy. That's his therapy. I don't know. Why nobody want to accept that new therapy? I don't know. Y'all, so why you gotta bring it out now? Like, because it's maybe the past. he hurting. Maybe he hurting. How he hurt? He got a beautiful daughter. But he's he got two it. handsome sons. What is he hurting about? But what is he Kanye? ain't he ain't even work for nothing. That Kanye? man living good. He got a... So what he what he what he he ain't got no problem. But what Kanye hurting from? Kanye hurting too. No, first of all, Kanye is hurting because of his mother. Okay, so he game still maybe have game not hurting. get over. Maybe game hurting from him things too in life, and, that, and that's why he's talking about his truth. With Kim, he let that man be his truth. Don't nobody care about what you did with Kim. What is that going to do for you by talking about Kim? So, all right, so, so moving forward, since you don't want to see where I'm coming from, and Aiden, he spoke about Sin Santana, Joe Buttons, and Aiden Girl. So I didn't hear the part in the song that he said that, but I'm going to listen to that song again. Well, then why are you talking about it if you didn't hear it? Because I'm going to. And I keep well, then when you, when you hear it, then you talk about DJ it. DJ Academic said that. What the hell is that? All right, that's what I said. Stop right there. Don't say nothing else right here. I'm just saying. Don't say nothing else right here. I'm just saying. No, I, that's I don't no, know. No, 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 that's good. I want you to stop right there. And that's where we end this podcast at. You just going to end it like that? Yes. Well, then tell very, me who it's, he is. It's very important. No. Nope. Stop right there. No, I'm going to Google him. <laughs> no. No, I'm going right. to Google him. We What's out here. Thanks again. No, thank, we thank not, you. no hell no, hell no, thank hell no, hell no. Thank you again. I will edit it right here. See, then he gonna you, always yeah. want to edit something instead of just letting it play out. Stop editing the shit. Play, just let the shit play out. This who is DJ Academic? That's the guy who said that Dean was talking about Joe Budden's girl. Beyonce. Yeah, I'm saying, but is he like a celebrity DJ no, or something? No, no, he's just a dude who's you know been on the internet and been running his mouth about everybody and getting himself in a lot of trouble lately. That's all. You'll find out. You'll find out. Google them later. Google them later. Cause you know I'm a Google queen. Yeah, Google, Google you know my best friend told me that shit. Every time I use it, she's like, Google it. Google I used to always get pissed off. Yeah, but that's how you find out. Jackie. That. Yeah, you Jackie. But, Google it. But I thought what? her always telling But you know shit. what? But th- this is why but I respect right. that. Thank you, Jackie. But this is why I respect Google. that. What? This is why I respect that. When somebody tells you to Google something, it's because you really should do your research on things. And Google is... But is Google right all the time? Google's always right. You know why? Because Google, Google is just a search engine. It's just going to give you all, a whole listing of things that you need to sh- go through and shepherdize and find out exactly what's the right thing, what's the Well, matter. I'm a Google pole dancer. And you think it's going to tell me which one to go to? Yeah, you got to figure out which one is the right one. I need to go to one that got all the good stars. So you go, stars. you got to figure that so out. So I need to Google pole dancing, I need to Google bartending, I need to Google a- um, acting. Those three things I want to do. Oh, wait, and charms. You don't have a charm. You know what? You don't need charms. Don't you tell me what charming. I don't need. People You're in... charming. You're charming already. Okay, no, listen. I'm, I, if I make it, if I ever make it big, listen to me. When I make it big, I'm going to open up an etiquette school or a charm school in the white community. They know the proper etiquette. They know what for goes here, what goes there. We need, we need that in our community. We really need that in our community. We do, but what we really need in our community right now is to end this damn podcast. <laughs> You're so fucking rude. You know what? It's not. Y- yeah, I'm you not. are. Yeah. Anyway, not. happy Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday. Let's go. Dismiss Cookie. Fuck him. Let's go. Peace. We out. <laughs> I guess she said it. <laughs> He's so goddamn rude. Let me drink to this. I can't with you. <laughs> Get up.
know what? You could have bought that. Jay Amir Beach.